next to her so man throws a cigarette into the toilet and the whole thing catches on fire no fucking way what are you doing in here hey that's my fucking coffee whoa 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 relax you guys first of all this is anything but coffee and secondly i'm here because head office hired me to run a pen test on your system and good job guys you passed Yeah. Hey, Ray. Ray, it's Tobias. Uh, yeah. Everything's solid here. Good. Okay, yeah, I'll tell him. Ray, she wants me to check Ray, your routers, no, too. Ray, listen to me. We need to talk. I think someone is watching me. Yeah. I was walking outside. Yeah, okay, will do. What? Thanks. Bye now. Ray, no, hey, look, Pencil Ray, pushers. What can you do, huh? Hey. Hey! <laughs> Bloom will know I'm here. I gotta move. I had high hopes for Bloom when I applied. I fell for the whole damn sales pitch. I knew we'd do something groundbreaking, but this thing was broken from the get-go. Now I'm too late, and the CTOS is too big. Damn it. Locked in. I'm gonna have to find a vulnerable system pronto. If I play it smart, I can trap some of these mouth bitches in their mouths. <laughs> Just cut bow to the elevators. I'm only hoping I get stuck in one. Somebody check the elevator. Hurry! Damn, is there a security convention in town? I've never seen so many guards.
Yeah, well, your dad is buying one of the man's hobbies. That would be Nothing ever work around here. Okay, all right. I got my eyes on Possible you. Possible visual. Moving in. safe in here for now, but I'm gonna have to find a vulnerability pronto. Watch back, he's around. Thank you. 
What's up? Aiden? I just want to let you know I'm done. Well, it's about time. Do you have an escape plan? I just dumped a false trail into Bloom's system. Over the next two weeks, they're gonna see me pop up in Wichita, Amarillo, Tucson. I'll drop off their map somewhere in Mexico. Well, you head in the other direction. Hey, I've got a one-way cruise out of Miami. If things ever calm down, I'll find a way to contact you. But... You take care of yourself, T-Bone. Stay out of trouble this time. Oh, I intend to. Adios, amigo. Adios. <sighs> Honey, I'm home. First rule of survival, always use the back door. Or is it... Never make a copy of the key. You ain't pretty, you ain't cozy, and you're sure as shit ain't home. But you were there for me when I needed you, baby. to wake up my guard dogs. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Well, a woodchuck can chuck wood, so shut the fuck up. I gotta burn these hard drives in the morning. Oh, I never got to use these. I guess it's better to be an unfulfilled paranoid than a dead one. Last night in the rabbit hole. Oh, I should get some shut eye. Answering you. No, just fuck off. Go away. <sighs> All right. All right. It's been ten years, Frewer. This had better be good. Ray, send the police. No, wait. Don't send the police. They may be in on it. Can you find me? Calm down. This is another one of your episodes. My episodes? Ray, they're gonna kill me. Do you understand? They who? I don't know. They. They hit me with something. I, I must have blacked out. I, I, th I think maybe I'm in a trunk. I'm definitely in a trunk, Ray. Can you track me? Not very well. Your GPS signal's cutting in and out. Oh, of course. Oh, they're jamming it. Oh, this is bad. Like, fixer bad. Fuck. All right, I'm on my way. Sounds like Frewer is in real danger here. But if I'm gonna get out of Chicago, it needs to be now. Fuck. I can't just leave him. Calm the fuck down! 
Now, feel around the latch for a trunk release. If it's a newer car, it'll have one. Uh, no, nothing. All right, so we know we're in an old car. It's a start. Old car? No, that is not a start. Maybe they removed the trunk latch. You got any tools back there with you? Check for a compartment. There might be a jack in it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a jack. I think I can pop the lid with one of these. That's the idea, but we don't want them to hear it pop. So I want you to bang around a lot when you do it. And shout, too. Hmm? Okay. Here it goes. Hey! Hey, let me out of here! Help! Help! Tell me what you see. I see construction workers on the road. This is Chicago. That could be anywhere. Oh! Road cones! I see a lot of road cones! Road cone? Road cone? Buildings for businesses. What do you see? Oh, that's... Uh, no, no, I don't know what that is. Come on, man. There's a half-demolished apartment building. Looks like housing projects. Sounds like you're in the wards. Good. Through her. Anything else? Just a lot of buildings, right? Do they say anything? Oh, I can't see. <gasps> Wait. More road cones. My phone is almost dead. Hurry! I see you! Okay, I need you to keep that trunk closed and brace yourself. Whoa, wait. Brace myself? Why brace myself? Your ride's about to get bumpy. Hey! No! Hey! I don't want to die in here! You won't. I promise. Brewer! You okay in there? Let me out! Just hang on! Right? More fixers. Shit. These guys just don't know when to quit. Hang on, Brewer! said he was homeless, doped up on something that's barely coherent. Hell, Fruer no. probably still blames me for all his no. problems. Jesus, Ray. It really zapped me. Says the lunatic with the tire iron. I'm not a lunatic. So you gonna tell me what you did to piss off the fixers? Me? 
This is on you. I'm still running from your mess. I have been ever since you and Rose decided to blow whistles at Bloom. I had a good life, Ray. You sure fooled me. We had to walk around on eggshells because you were such a head case. <laughs> well, Rose is dead now. And your little tantrum in 2003. How many people died? Yeah. And I'm the head case. <laughs> you little shit. I'm sorry, I didn't... I, I... You know what? Thanks for the rescue. But I need to go. Eleven. Eleven people died. Lindsay Garcia. Jeremy Connors. You want more? Because I can list them all for you. If you run, Bloom will find you. I know, because I'm the one who wrote the goddamn code that'll help him to do it. Now, I can get you out. But I need to hit Bloom again. Find out what the hell they know. You can stay in my place. Just don't touch my stuff. Don't monkey with my system. And don't make any noise. Yeah. I'll try to control myself. And most importantly, do not touch any of my beer. I don't drink. Of course I don't. <clears throat> Shit. Wasn't planning on sticking around. I need to make a call. Detective Billing speaking. Sheila. Mystery man, is that you? I assumed you were dead. Did you miss me? Nope. I love the growing tower of crime reports on my desk. Please tell me that's why you called. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm running low on cash. And supplies. Well, there's plenty to do. Every gangbanger, goon, and gorilla's out there fighting for a piece of the cake now that Lucky Quinn and Iraq are dead. And I'm running out of people to trust within the department. Just point me in the right direction, and I'll do the dirty work. Or a fee. Taxpayer money, keeping the thugs off the streets. Ain't it beautiful when the system works, sweetheart? <laughs> you are bad. Hold on. I'll send you what I've got. Let me check my map. I've marked one of the groups for you. The Chicago South Club. Now spearheaded by Quinn's baby boy. All right. Some of these will be one-time targets of opportunity, and some of them will be done to send a message. Hit those once a day, so they know we're watching. Just remember, if you get caught... Never heard of you. Good. Give me a call before you go in.